Hello, God bless you. You are welcome to this edition of the Prophetic Hour, where you receive words that would encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. We bless the holy name of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God, and we believe and we know that this is going to begin to work His wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. You're going to arise and shine in the name of Jesus. So welcome on board to this great edition of the prophetic hour. We bless the Holy Name. Those who have been waiting for us to come on, we do appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. God will bless, increase and prosper you and God will honor you all out there in the majors. Thanks for your support over the years. We do appreciate you all. Everyone, you are blessed and highly favored. The favor of God shall shine upon your lives in the name of Jesus. And this thing will begin to work its wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. So, you are all welcome. We bless the holy name of God to this edition of the prophetic hour. And we thank God. The God we are serving is a mighty God. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Center, a church apart my wife, Pastor Von Kess, a church where Christ himself reigns supreme and lives are touched and changed and transformed. And you watching right now is not by accident but by divine appointment. I know that this God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. As usual, as you already know, we are on two platforms. We are on two platforms. That's the two platforms, as you can see on the screen. We are on Facebook and also we are on YouTube. We are on Facebook and also we are on YouTube. Those on Facebook, please kindly share this on your Facebook page. As you can see, share it on your timeline and also share it amongst the groups you belong to. And God will bless you, increase and prosper you. And those also on YouTube, you are welcome in Jesus' name to our channel. That's our YouTube channel. Please kindly share, kindly notify your friends on YouTube. Let them come on and God will bless you. And we can see comments on both platforms, either on Facebook or YouTube. We can see comments and your comments and receive your comments. And God himself will bless, increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. You continue to arise and shine in Jesus' name. And as I said, the name of our church is called Body of Christ Center, which I pass on my pastor from care. That's the details. If you want to know more about the church, about us, you can go on our website. That's it on the screen. As you go on our website, God will bless you, gives you information you need to know about the church i want to know about the church of myself and god will bless increase and prosper and our church address is on the screen right now that's our church address we meet every sunday at 10 a.m make sure you join us and god will bless you and your life shall never remain the same again so that's our church address sundays at 10 a.m and god will bless you and if this is your first time of watching us god will bless you welcome on board we always hear this program every tuesday at every tuesday at um, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. and God will bless, increase, and prosper you in the name of you. Are so glad and so happy you are able to join us even right now. And we know that this God will begin to touch you and work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. This is your moment. This is your season. This is your hour for a great breakthrough. And we know that God will work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. Marvelous King, I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Thank you for giving us the grace to see the last day. The second to last day of this month, we bless, worship, praise, and adore you with you, Lord. Nothing shall be impossible. Thank you, Lord, for keeping watch over us. Thank you, Lord, for guiding, for keeping, for loving us. Thank you, Lord, the Father, El Shaddai, I accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Every sin, Lord, forgive Jesus name. Send out your power into our mission, Jesus name. Holy Ghost, begin to walk in wonders. Prove yourself. Have a your way in the name of Jesus. We cover this program with the blood of Jesus. We cover the air with the blood of Jesus. We cover our guests with the blood of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Prove yourself and let your name be glorified. My dear Father, we destroy and demolish and every stronghold. We pull them down. Have your way. Bless every viewer and let your name be glorified. Father, we honor and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. I see this very loud. I see this very clear. And I want us to return it back to sender. The water of bitterness back to sender. Every, I see a cup and I saw bitterness written, written on it. And and this is the work of the enemy. He wants it to he wants to give it to somebody that's watching, but going to declare right now every cup of bitterness back to sender. 
or water of bitterness back to sender. As you begin to that, guess what? It's going to go back. The angel of God will take it back to sender in the name of Jesus by the grace and by the power of God. So you are welcome. Let me quickly acknowledge a few people who are on. My wife is on. My dear wife, Father Funke. The great woman of God is on. Thank you very much. Sister Justin, all the way from from Italy, you are the first viewer. God will bless you. Sister Christine, God will bless and exam prosper you. Amanda Shala, thank you very much. But Harrison, all the way from Nigeria, thank you very much. And T. Bokola, all the way from Nigeria, so thank you very much. Sister Joy, thank you. Daddy, and Shala, thank you very much. God bless you. Brother Theo, God bless you. Sister Selena Smith, God bless you. Dickiness Fesaya, God bless you. Welcome. That's remember, thank you very much. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. The God we are serving, Sister Dotun, God bless you. God will increase and prosper you all in the name of Jesus. Please share, share, share. Get as many people as possible. Let them know that the prophetic hour is on right now. And God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Every water or every cup of bitterness back to sender. I say once again, every water and cup of bitterness back to sender. As I said before, we can see comments on both Facebook and YouTube. So God will bless you in whatever platform you are on. God will bless, increase and prosper you in the name of Jesus. You begin to arise and shine, prosper and succeed marvelously and mightily. So once again, we will thank you and God will bless you, Jesus. So welcome to this edition of the Supernatural Intervention Series. Supernatural Intervention Series. We thank God for what He did last week, and today, as I said before, we are going to a new, to a new, to a new. I hope you have your prayer request. I just remember our prayer request. I hope you, I hope you have your own with you, and God will bless you. Because God said for three, three Tuesdays. Today is the second Tuesday for our prayer request. So get your prayer request ready, and God will bless, increase, and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. So we are continuing in our series of supernatural, supernatural intervention series where God supernaturally intervenes in the affairs of uh, in our affairs and this is going to begin to do a great work and a mighty work even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Thank you. There's somebody God is telling me you are you are thinking of giving up. Giving up over your dream. You are almost giving up over your dream. You are even think, thinking aloud within yourself that Maybe I should even give up. Maybe this is not God's way. Maybe this is not God's way. It is God's way. It is God's way. Don't give up. If that is you, tap it out. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. Please don't give up because there is something great I see that God has for you. There's something great and marvelous that God has for you. And that great thing that God has for you, He will bring it to pass in your life. Don't give up. Tap it out. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. And this angle will begin to work its wonders and miracles, even in every life. So, Allah, thank you very much for joining. Pastor Chichi, thank you very much for joining. God will begin to bless, increase, and prosper you all mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. This God we are serving is a mighty God. We thank God for his goodness and mercies, and God will begin to turn things around for every one of us mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. So if you have your Bibles, you want to go straight into the Word of God, I won't take much of your time today. Sister Pastor Betty, all the way from Dublin, Ireland, not Ireland, but I know you are from Ireland. Thank you very much for joining. I can just see you on board now. God will bless you, woman of God. God will increase and prosper you. We really appreciate you. So the book of Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. But we just read the first two verses. Matthew chapter 21. Math, sorry, Matthew 15, 21 to 28. But we just read verses 21 and 22. So I, I hope you have your Bibles on you. That's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, 21 to 22. We're going to read, and God will bless, increase, and prosper you in the name of Jesus. And the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21 and 22 says, And Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Ty and Sidon. Verse 22. Two, and behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. Marvelous King, as we are going to go with us, speak to us. Let your name be glorified. Open our understanding and touch us like never before. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We worship and praise and adore you in Jesus' precious 
and wonderful name we pray. This is your season, your moment, your hour for a great breakthrough, and God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Mm, thank you, Lord. I see a record. I see a record. I see a book being opened. I see a book being opened. So, what is this book for? And I see on it October, November, December on the foot in the, on the front of the book, just like a ledger. You know what a ledger is? Just like a ledger. And I see October, November, December written on the front of the book. And I'm wondering that Lord, what is this for? And God says that these are the people He wants to favor in the last three months of the year. These are the people, this is the list. I see a list that I said, these are the people that God says, those whose names are written in that big ledger, that big book that is written on it, October, November, December. God, God is saying that these are the people that he wants to favor in the month of October, November, December. Hmm. Now, if you want to be amongst them, just say it. Favor. Just type it out. Favor. 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 As you type it out, favor, guess what? Your names will be written in that ledger, in that book. And in the month of October, month of November, month of December, you'll be favored mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. So let's get as many people as possible on board now. We are going into the word of God. You know, this is a prophetic hour where you receive words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. Words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. And we're starting a new topic on this supernatural supernatural intervention says determined for a change determined for a change my question to you tonight is that are you determined for a change change doesn't just come just like that determination is the key for change determination is the key for change I repeat that determination is the key for change. I want someone to that out for me. Determination is the key for change. The more determined you are in life shows how much change that you experience in life. Determination is the key for change. You and I, we need to opt up our game and make sure that our drive for change does not decrease. You must increase your drive for change so that the change will take place in your life. Determination is a drive behind change. Determination is the key for change, but determination is also the drive behind change. If you want there to be a change in your life, you must be determined in life. Guess what? You, get, you know what? For the last three months of this year, if you are really determined, you know what? You'll be able to achieve greater things. If you are really, 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 really determined, you'll be able to achieve greater things. Determination is the key for change. Father, as you go into what God will tell us, speak to us. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, we've read the story of, about the woman in the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse, verse, sorry, chapter 15, 21 to 28. Talks about this woman, this Canaanite woman. And she was determined for a change. So, we take the steps. We look into the steps that she was able to pass through to get her change. What are the things she did for her change to come? What are the steps she took for her change to come? Because change is very important. Change doesn't just come by the folding of arms. Change doesn't just come by wishing and desiring. Change doesn't just come by looking to heaven and wish and desire and faith it that change is coming without taking a step. Hmm. As I said before, determination is the key for change. Determination is the key for change. So what are the steps that you and I need to take so that change will take place in our lives. Change will take place in our lives. I say it once again. Determination is the key for change. Determination is the key for change. It's very important for you and I to be determined in life. Now, going to take the steps, one after the other, to see how this woman was able, through determination, to receive that change in her life. The Bible talks about that her daughter was vexed up. Her daughter was severely oppressed by a demon. So she needed a change. I believe that she had suffered. She had done so much. And she had struggled for change to take place in her life. Despite all what she did, change did not take place. Let me tell you something. Change does not take place overnight. Change is a process. Change is a process. Can someone tell that out? Change is a process. So if you are believing God for change... 
apart from you be determined, it's a process. All this we talk about as we go along. So what is the first step that you and I need to take? We're talking about from the book of Matthew chapter 15, 21 to 28. Matthew 15, 21 to 28. And the first thing that you and I need to do for change to take place in our life is to let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of the issue. Let go of the matter. Let go of whatever. Now, in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, 21 to 28, when we read that same Matthew 15 from verses 1 to 20, it talks about the Pharisees coming to meet Jesus. And they asked Jesus, your, your disciples are, are defiling the law of the tradition of men because they are eating with unwashed hands. And Jesus began to deliberate with them that you also, you have made invalid the law of God because of the tradition, of, because of your tradition. And Christ was saying, it's not, it's not what goes into a man that defies a man, but it's what comes out of a man that defies a man. I'm trying to bring out the background of where we are going. And the Bible now says in verse 21 of Matthew 15, and Jesus went from there. Jesus left the place. Jesus, after he had spoken, he let go of the issue. He let go of the matter. He let go. And the question tonight before that chain comes is that what are you willing to let go in your life? That anger, that hatred, that bitterness, that, 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 envy that spirit of revenge what are you willing to let go or adjust or change in your life before that change comes there's something that you need to let go even if it's failure of the past you need to let it go if it's disappointment of the past you need to let it go before change can come you need to let go of some matters now i want us to preach together what are the things you believe or you think that a human being needs to let go so that a change can come what are the things? Begin to point it out. We are praying together right now. You know, this is a new preaching. So we are praying together. What are the things that you and I need to let go for that change to take place in our life? Jesus let go. He left the Pharisees. He did not stay there. He did not sit with them. He did not further to discuss. He did not discuss with them further. He left the place and he went to another place. He let go of the matter. He has spoken about it. He has given a decision and he moved on. He moved on. He moved on. Let go of the matter. What are you willing to let go in your life so that that change can come? Some people, they are holding on to bitterness. And because of the bitterness they are holding on to, change is not taking place in their life. You know, we are talking about determined for a change. Determined for, Now, if you are determined for a change, what are the things that you need to let go? Because being determined for a change and not letting go, not letting go of those issues, of those matters, is something. Somebody is writing here that... My wife said, Pastor Funke said, past failures, past failures. Yes, you need to let go of past failures. Very important. What are the new things you need to let go? Somebody writes here, um, Pastor Sister Farah, um, past failures and mistakes. Yes. The Bible says, the righteous man's faults how many times? Seven times, but he rises up seven times. So the Bible is not saying that there will be no mistakes. But guess what? If there's a mistake, if there's a mistake, guess what? We need to rise up. We need to rise up. We need to rise up, dust ourselves, and move ahead. So what are the things that... Pastor says again, unforgiveness. Unfor you need to let go of unforgiveness. Who has offended you? Unforgiveness and bitterness. Who has offended you? Who has caused you to be having malice in your heart? You need to let go. The word of God says, if you forgive men their trespass, I, my Father in heaven, also will forgive you your trespass. But if you refuse to forgive men their trespass, neither will my Father in heaven forgive you your trespass. Now, you have been praying and desiring for change. But you know what? You need to let go. You, somebody says regret. Silence out. Regret. You need to let go of regret. Now, if you've done some things and you regret doing it, what, what do you do? Let go and move ahead. You don't begin to cry over that issue. You don't begin to dwell on that issue. What do you do? You need to let go. Let it go. Somebody type that. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. What are the things you need to let go? Somebody writes here, Sister Smith, the past. You need to let go of the past. Whatever pain your past has cost you. You need to let go. And Jesus went away from there. Jesus let go of the matter. He left them there. 
fear and he let go because he had a mission. He had a dream. Let me tell you, if you are given to forgiveness, that means that you are willing to trade your destiny for unforgiveness. How many of you out there are willing, God forbid, to trade your destiny because you refuse to forgive somebody? Let go of the matter. Let go of the past. Paul says something. I do something. I look, I forget the things that are in my past that lives behind me and I push on to the future. I push on ahead. I press on ahead. Why was he able to press on ahead? Why? Because he was able to let go. Somebody says, again, Pastor says, bitterness, we're talking about that. What are you willing to let go in your life to adjust? Thank you very much, Pastor Chichi. I love you always with those points. God will bless you. Before change can come, you need to let go of certain things. Somebody says, holding on to the past, yes. Somebody says, bitterness. Somebody says, bitterness, yes. Yes, it is disappointment. You need to let it go. Somebody says, past hurts. Past hurts, yes. Mistakes, unforgiveness, and disappointment. You need to let go of this. Somebody says, again, grudges. Are you still holding a grudge? against somebody. It's been long since I've had that word. Let go of the matter. Let it go. Let it go. Somebody says disappointment. These are the things we need to let go before our change can come. We're talking about determined for a change. Now, if you are really determined for a change, what must you do? You must let go of these things. Let go of these things. Now, you know one thing, if I continue reading, that you need to let go, sin. Let go of sin. Sin, 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 sin. If sin is crouching next to you, let go of sin. Leave sin alone. Does it flee from sin. Some people are still dwelling in sin. The sin they've been committing two, three years ago, they are still in that sin. Let go of the sin. Let go of the matter. Let go of sin. Because we cannot be in sin and say that the grace of God should abound. God forbid. God said, how can we who die to sin begin to live again in sin? God forbid. Let it go. Let it go. Somebody tried to disappointment. Let go of that disappointment. Somebody says unforgiveness. You know, we have things that we need to let go. Somebody tried to envy, bitterness, matters of the past, pain, anger, past mistakes. Let it go. Somebody says self-forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Whatever you have done, whatever mistakes you may have done, forgive yourself. Let the matter go. You know, some people, the devil is still pressing them on things of the past. Is still haunting them. It's making them feel guilty. Let me tell you, the Bible says that if we confess our sins, it's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let me tell you, once you have for, for confessed your sins and forsaken, God has forgotten. Don't allow the devil to bring it back to you. You must know, let go, whatever mistakes you have made, whatever error you may have committed, once you are sorry and you confess, the matter is Done, done deal. It's a done deal. Even if you go back to God and begin to say, God, I'm sorry for what I did last year. God will begin to wonder because there's no record of it. He's thrown it into the sea of unfor- uh, on sea of forgetfulness. So God himself does not even remember again. Why? Because he has forgiven, he has forgotten, he has wiped it away, and it's not in his record any longer. So forgive yourself. Somebody says again, missed opportunities. Yes, sometimes there are missed opportunities, but don't kill yourself because of that. Let go of the matter. Let go of the issue. Let go of whatever it is. Do you know what? If you have missed an opportunity, dust yourself. And what do you do? You go back and make sure you get that opportunity again. And guess what? It will come your way. So it's not the end of the matter. It's not the end of the issue. So many times I worry. Let go of the worry. Let go of the worry. Don't allow... <laughs> the Bible says that casting our anxieties on him. Casting our worries on him. Why? Because he cares for you and I. The Lord, com- com- the Lord cares for you and... I and me cares for everyone of us. So let it go. Pastor says, yesterday's loss. Whatever you have lost yesterday, let the matter go. Stop going back looking for it. It is gone. It is gone. It is forgone. It is forgone. Forget it. Move ahead into the future. And guess what? God will begin to work on. Number one, somebody puts here. I love this one. The opinion of others. Let go of the opinion of others. Whatever anyone is thinking about you, who the most important thing is what is God thinking about you? Now, the Bible says, I don't know where, I've forgotten where it is, but I think it's somewhere, I don't want to, I don't, I've forgotten where it is, but the Bible says that it is not the man that man commends that is acceptable, but it's the man that God commends that is acceptable. 
I repeat that. It's not the man that man commends that is acceptable, but it's the man that God commends that is acceptable. Stop being moved by the opinion of people. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Unforgiveness. We've done that again. Unforgiveness. Let go of yesterday backbiters. Yes, thank you very much, Pastor. Yesterday's back. But let's go. Let go. Let it go. Thank you all those who are tapping and let it go. Let the matter go. Someone says, let go haters. Let the haters go. Those who hate you, forget them. Put them in their place. Do, you know, when you have a book in a you have a book and you put it in a shelf, you put the book in a shelf, and when you put the book in a shelf, you don't visit that book until you need it again. So the book is in the shelf. Now type it out. Shelf your haters. Shelf your haters. When you shelf it, it's there. When you put a book on the shelf, the book is there for so long until you go there. So, shelf your haters. All those who hate you, begin to shelf that. That's letting go. You let go. Nobody nobody puts a book on the shelf and holds it. Say, I'm helping the shelf to hold. No, you let it go. You put it on the shelf and you turn back and you go and do what you want to do because you have let go. So, shelf Haters, shelve the haters. So many that shelve the haters. You need to shelve all your haters. Forget them. Let them go. Let them go. It's their opinion. It's their business. They are hating you because God is taking you somewhere. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let it 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 go. So many times I fear. Let fear go. Yes, let fear go. Let it this my treatment. Let it go. Let it go. Let it fear of the unknown. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Offense. Yes. Thank you very much. Let all these things go. Because if you don't let it go, you will not be able to occupy your mind with offense, with hatred, with bitterness, with all these things, and also be determined for a change. They don't mix together. They don't mix together. I repeat that. They don't mix together. So you need to let the matter go. You need to let it go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let's forget for a new beginning, for you to be let go of sin, yes, I've said that someone said that, let go of sin, let go of mistakes, regrets, yes, let go of those negative words that someone said, thank you very much, Pastor, let go of those negative words. Somebody told you you can't make it, somebody told you you can't prosper and you are soaking on it, let go, forget it, let it go, let go, let it 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 go. Why? Because if you don't let it go, the worst will haunt you. Jabez had that his mother cursed him and Jabez had, because Jabez was a baby, when they were naming Jabez, he did not know. So somebody told him about that information. He did not fight the person, but what did he do with that information? The Bible says that he now went to meet the God of Israel and prayed to the God of Israel and the God of Israel granted him his request and guess what happened to him? He became a honorable man. Why? Because he let go. Let go of the guilt. Let go of the wasted years and move on. There are things that we need to let go. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You need to let it go. Somebody says forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself. Let it go. Forgive yourself. Let it go. Some people have not forgiven themselves. What they've done 10 years ago, 20 years ago, even God had, it's not, God, God doesn't even remember. And you are still remembering. You are allowing the devil to remind you. Look, when the devil comes with it, tell the devil, remind the devil of his own future. Hell, the lake that burns with fire and so forth. And that lake, the fire, that never diminishes, never goes down. And it, it keeps on burning. That is the end of the devil. Let the devil, tell the devil to his face, his end. Forgive yourself. Let the matter go. Let go of those who do not see anything good in you. Let it go. Let it go. Let go of those who cannot stick you. You know, pastor's coming with those points. Let go of those who cannot stick you. Those great points, you see. Let go. In, because, let me tell you, if you don't let all these things go, hmm, it will be difficult for that individual to move ahead into the future. And you cannot afford, because of one enemy somewhere, you cannot afford to do that. Let it go. Let it go. Let go of the worry. Let it go. Let it go of the sin of jealous people. Let them go. Let go of the matter. Let go of the matter. Shelf your, thank you very much, shelf your haters. That's the where they belong to. That's where they belong to. You see, let all the negative words spoken again. Let it go. We need to let all these things go. They spoke to Jesus. They were trying to condemn him. He let the matter go. The Pharisees came and I thought you are a good leader. Look at your look at your disciple. You are making them, you are making them to, to, to go against the tradition of men. And Jesus let the matter go. He spoke to them. He not tried to 
imposed it on them. He not tried to force it on them. He spoke it on them. That is not what comes into a man that defies a man, but what comes out of the man. Because out of the heart of a man, out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So those things from the heart are what defies a man. And Jesus said it, and what go? He let go. He went away to go to his other mission. Let me tell you, if you keep on holding on to these things, that person will not be able to move into the future. The devil will not stop us in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not stop in the name of Jesus. Paul says again, let go of mockers. You see, you need to let go of your mockers. As you begin to let them go, guess what? Let go of those who are who are belittling you. Anyone who is belittling you, let go, let go, let go, let go. Thank you very much, Father. You brought that thing, Second Corinthians. For he not, he not he, for not he who commends himself is approved, but when God commends. Thank you, Second Corinthians 10 18. Thank you very much for that. Go. So let go of the mocker. Let the, all those people who have misused you, who have despised you, who have looked down on you before the end of this year, let them go. Before the end of this today, you know, today is 29th, yes. Tomorrow is 30th. By the time it's next tomorrow, by God's grace, we are in a new month. So, before the last three months that God has said is going to favor us, last, those last three months, October, November, December, let it go. Let the matter go. Let them get, let, get kick them out of their lives. Somebody tell that, kick them out. Kick them out. I want somebody to tell that, that out. Kick them out. You need to kick all these things out. Let it, not only let it go, kick it out. Kick it out. Kick them out. Kick them out. Let go of those who are underrating you. Thank you. Let go of bad friends, you know, or friendly friends. Let go of bad names. Thank you very much. Let go of the matter. Let go of those who left you. Stop forcing yourself into friendship. They've gone. They've gone. Let go. Let go. Don't look for those friends who have left your life. Ah, my friend, where's that phone? Oh, I lost that phone. Oh, that phone uh, broke down. Ah, thank God I found that phone. You go on that bed, you find that phone, and you begin to look for those numbers. Those friends you haven't spoken to for five years, six years, and ten years. You are looking for them. Let go. Let go. Let go. Kick them out. Kick them. Let go of self limitation. Thank you, Minister Mike. Let go of 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 self limitation. Stop limiting yourself. Look at yourself and tell yourself, I am the best. I am created in the image and likeness of God. I carry God. Can you imagine you carrying God? I carry God in the inside of me. God is so big that heaven is too small for him. But guess what? God has made himself so small that he even lives in the inside of us through his spirit. So you look at yourself in the mirror. Hmm. Success story. Hmm. Great man. Hmm. Great success. Hmm. Blessed man. Hmm. Man who is blessed. You begin to declare over your life. You begin to declare over your life the type of man and the type of person you are. Why? Because you have let go of the past. That grace the Lord will give you to let go of unfriendly friends. Yes. Let go. Let go of the lost. Hmm. When something is lost, why are you looking for it? Let go of it. It's lost. It's lost. Forget it. If God wanted you to be in your life, it will not, you will not, you will not lose it. But for the fact that it's lost, it's lost, it's lost. Move on. Let go. Let go. Let go. Go begin. Let go of cheat. Don't stop cheating again. Let go of cheat. Let go of the cheat. Those who have cheated you, let go of the matter. They duped you, let go of the matter. They do down of you, let go of the matter. They took money of you from you, let go of the matter. Because God will restore you like never before in the name of of your, let go of those who are not ambitious. That is it. Let go. Let, let go of inferiority complex. You know, these are the things that are affecting people. And before the end of this month, guess what? All these things, you must let it go to start a new beginning. I will say, let it go now so that when you enter the month of October, hmm, it's a new beginning, a change, a great change will begin to take place even in your life and destiny. As long as you can let go of the matter, let go of the matter, let go of lukewarm Christians, let go of iniquities, let go of unholy lifestyle. That is it. You, you as a woman, you wear a dress that almost half of your chest is showing, let go. All those type of clothing, go and throw it away. Go and throw it away. You are a woman, you are doing the style, you are a child of God. Born again, bonified Christian, tongue speaking Christian, Holy Ghost carrier, fire and demon casting out Christian. And then you want to dress, you are spying the side of the world, whereby one doesn't go sleep, the other one has sleep. So it's like half. Let go of all this lifestyle. Let go. You are a man also. Let go. You are the you are you are a man. If I can say you are a man, you the way you do your hair is as if it's a woman. Let go of all this. These are worldly friends and worldly activities, unholy lifestyle. Anything you are doing, and 
You ask yourself, if Jesus comes, will I go with him? Or if Jesus is here on earth, will he dress the way I have dressed? Will he cut his hair the way I've cut my hair? Will he wear what I am wearing? I'm sorry to say, all the even though you say star, all the rags you are wearing, half of your knee is showing, half of your lap is showing, half of your buttock is showing, and you are saying it's the lifestyle, and you somebody wear this because the last time I saw, I'm sorry to say this, I have to say this. The last time I saw somebody wearing something like that, that trousers that have holes in it was when I went to my beautiful country and I saw a madman wearing such a thing. All that's about trousers that have holes in it. So, you see, may God deliver us. That's why you don't need to follow the trend of the world. Those who have love of the Father, you see, those who don't have love of the Father have love of the world in them. And when you have love of the world in them, guess what? It entraps people. May we not be entrapped in Jesus' name. May we not be entrapped. May we not be entrapped. Let go of the matter. Let go of those who want to limit you with their bad man. Let go. Let go. Thank you very much. Declare positive words. Yes, I am making it. I am succeeding. I am prospering. Like I said before, let go of, of those who nobody can please. You know, so there are some people that nobody can please them. Nobody can please. Let go. Let go. What are you talking about? Let go. Jesus said, and just went away from them. He left them. He let go of the Pharisees. He let go of the scribes. He let go of those who came from Jerusalem, trying, 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 trying to pull in that. He let go and he moved ahead. Let go and move ahead. Let, we're talking about determined for a change. And the first step that you and I need to do is what? You must let go. There are many Christians, if God reveals to them the way they are in the spiritual realm, they will see they have a lot of backpacks, uh, bad, um, backpacks, uh, bad, um, backpacks, whereby they are carrying things and they are carrying saddles and they are carrying load. And the load, some is bitterness, some is, some is hatred, some is clamor, some is envy. And they are carrying it and they are being slowed down on their journey. Why? Because they cannot let go of the matter. I beg of you, in the name of God, please let go of the matter. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. May God help us in the name of Jesus. I ask you again, what are you willing to let go? What are you willing to adjust? What are you willing to change for your change to come? What are you willing? Pastor says, let go of your evil behavior by fire by fire so that it can be released. Let go of these issues. Let it go that something new can start in your life. Even look at, let's see what God does for us. When somebody comes as a sinner, what does God do? The Bible says that um, 2 Corinthians 5.17 I'm trying to read. I remember just now so, um, uh, If anyone is in, is in Christ is a new creature the old has passed away. God has let go of the old. The Bible says that um, let all men repent. So that times of ignorance, God has overlooked. That He has overlooked everything. So our God we are serving is a God that let go. He will let it go. He lets he let it go. He will let the matter go. He will let the issue go. If he did not let the issue of David go, Guess what? Bathsheba will not give the bath to Solomon who became the king. But God let that issue go. God let the issue of David because David was repentant. He was sorry. And when he did say, Lord, I am sorry. And he let the matter go. And the same Bathsheba gave bath to Solomon who became the king of Israel. Can you imagine? Let's go. So our God, who is God, is telling you and I to follow his pattern. Let go because God lets the matter go. Let it go. Let it go. And once you let it go, guess what? Go begin to work wonders. What are you willing to let go? What are you willing to change? What are you willing to adjust? I pray the Lord will give us that grace to let go of the matter. Somebody type it out. I am letting the matter go. 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 In Jesus' name. Before I forget, if you're out there, you're not giving your life to Jesus, you need to let the past go and hang on to Jesus, your old life. If you want to do that, just say this simple prayer. I'm saying, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I accept you as my Lord. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins and cleanse me with your blood. Give me your Holy Spirit to empower me and save me, Lord, from the devil. Thank you, Lord, for 
answering me. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me. Thank you, Lord, for taking me the way I am. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Guess what? If you have just said that you are born again, your name has just been written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and there's a new beginning in your life. Now, if you don't have a church you are going through, that's our church address on the screen. This Sunday, come to church, and you live in Asa London, London, look for a Bible-believing church, believing church to go to, tell the man and woman of God, I've just been born again. I want you to nurture me where the Lord and he or she will nurture you and then you can grow and God will bless you. Father, we thank you. Now, I just to pray that Lord. Pray that Lord. I know that everyone, including myself, there are things that we need to let go. Say, God, give me the grace to let go of these matters, of these issues, of this predicament. Whatever it is, say, Lord, give me that grace to let go. Begin to pray. Father, we thank you. Bless you. We give you all the praise. Give us the grace to let go. 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 No matter. Matter. Let go. Let go. Let go. Give us the grace, O Lord. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Give us that grace to let go of the issue of the matter. Matter, Father, give it to us. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I pray. I shall pray this prayer. Lord, the matter has gone. Amen. It is dissolved. It is forgotten. It is thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. Never to be retrieved again in the name of Jesus. And we are new creatures in Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now, tap it out. This is a new me. 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 And now, because you have let the matter go, we are now determined for a change. And I tell you, a change will take place in our life. This topic is going to be very exciting. Determined for a change. Determined for a change. Determination is the key for change. Determination is the key for... And obstacle number one has been removed. It has been removed. And guess what? There's going to be a new beginning in my life, in your life, in all our lives, in the name of Jesus. Now, your prayer request. Raise up. Pastor, can you do me a favor, please? Your prayer request is in that. My prayer request, the envelope, please. I forgot to bring it here. Get your prayer request. I want to bring my own prayer request. Prayer request. Prayer. This is a new me. 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 It's a new me. It's a new me. It's a new me. It's a new me. Thank you very much. It's a new me, it's a new me, it's a new me. This is my envelope. This is my envelope. Get your envelope. Father, we thank you, we bless you. We bring our envelope before you, our prayer request. Not em under envelope, but our prayer request, Lord. This is two of three. You said we should do it for three times. This is Tuesday two. Monday, Father, grant our request. Walk on our request. Let your name be glorified. Have your will, Lord. Prove yourself. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to bring it again next Tuesday for the last time. And then we begin to testify over it. And God will bless, increase, and prosper us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I see a hand with a cloth wiping. I see a hand wiping. And I'm asking, what is this, Lord? And God says, it's wiping away. The blemish in the lives of people who are watching. Some people who are watching, there are blemishes, some blemishes in their life. And I see that hand washing. If you want God to wipe away the, ble the blemish in your life, just tap it out. Blemish disappear. Blemish disappear. Because as God is cleansing it, it will disappear. Blemish disappear. That's just the word. Blemish disappear. And every blemish is going to be eradicated and removed from your life right now in the name of Jesus. No more blemish. No more blemish. Blemish disappear. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Going to have your way and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Before I go, please, I want to remind you of our programs that we have online by the grace of God. We have a um, Bible study tomorrow by God's grace at um, 7 p.m. Make sure you join us. Bible study online at 7 p.m. And on Sundays on this same um, YouTube and Facebook, we have um, Sundays Corpus Forum where we learn how to stay together in love, peace, and harmony. Make sure you join us and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. And then my dear wife, Pastor Funka, the great woman of God, she's having three days currently. She's had day one yesterday at um, 11 p.m., day two today at 1 at one p.m. Tomorrow is not 1 p.m. Tomorrow is going to be 10 p.m. by the grace of God to finish off the three days. And God will bless. And don't forget, she has the first seven days also at 6 a.m. So make sure you join and God will bless you in Jesus' name. And then we have prophetic hour every Tuesday. I know you have been blessed every Tuesday at 9 p.m. And then we have restoration hour where we recover our stolen and seized blessings. Make sure you join us this Thursday at 9 p.m. And God will bless in Christian prophecy. Now, before you go, please do us a favor. Do us a favor. Like this Facebook page. 
follow this Facebook page and share this Facebook page. For those who have shared, God will bless you. So what I want you to do after you finish, before you log out of your Facebook page, go to our main page, Body of Christ Center, and then as, when you are scrolling, you will see follow it. Follow, follow the page. Click on follow. We want to get as many followers as possible and God will bless you. And those who are on YouTube, please uh, check YouTube. We are 98 subscribers. Let's get you to 100. At least two more. Two more. So by the time we come next, uh, by the time we come on Thursday, I want to announce that, praise God, we have 100 subscribers. So please go on our YouTube channel. That's it. Go and subscribe on our YouTube channel and then press the notification button so that you can be notified. Those who are on Facebook be notified on about our program and God will bless, increase, and prosper you in the name of God. Once again, thank you for joining us. God will bless, increase, and prosper you. God will honor you. I do appreciate you all out there for your comments, for sharing, for joining. God will honor you mightily. In the, and I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you. I pray for all our viewers. Lord, I appreciate them joining every now and then. Lord, I pray you bless them in Jesus' name. You work your wonders in their lives and destinies. I declare you will begin to arise and shine. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. I see a cup being poured, like water is coming out of the cup. What is this? And God says he wants to comfort you viewers out there. Now, if you want comfort, type it at comfort. I see that water pouring, and I see that everyone here has a cup, and they are putting their cup under. And the amazing thing is that it's just one, one, one jug. If I say a jug, one let me container. Say one one container that the water is pouring out from. But as the water is pouring out, this is the amazing thing. It has different outlets before it drops, and everyone, even though you are here, some are there, some are there, the water drops into everyone's cup. I say, thank you, Lord, for that. And God is saying that he is giving everyone who has what today comfort. Now, if you want comfort, tap it out, comfort, comfort, comfort. And as you tap it out, you get your water, and comfort will be your portion. And the peace of God that surpasses every understanding shall be your portion. Once again, thank you, thank you very much. God bless you for joining this, and God will increase and prosper you. And thanks for those sharing, thanks for those who typed out the prayers. Thanks for those who support. I thank my lovely wife, Pastor Funke, the great woman. I'm going to forget she's coming tomorrow, 10 p.m. Fire and power. Ah, she's talking about fire and power. Fire and power. If you want to be empowered and then fired and fire up, you want you want your enemy powerhouse to catch fire. Tomorrow, 10 p.m. Make sure you join and God will bless, increase, and prosper. So once again, thank you very much. We do appreciate you all. Pastor Chichi, thank you very much. Those who joined, Bishop, Pastor, everybody, thank you very much. Pastor, Pastor Olani, thank you very much. The great man of God, thank you very much, sir, for joining. And the pastor from Ada Omo, I think Omoni, uh, from Dublin, from Ireland, God bless you, man of God. I do appreciate you. Everyone that joined, God will bless, and prosper you. And you will be favored in your comfort is your portion. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. I really appreciate you all. And God will bless you, Jesus' name. Bye-bye.